my top tips for scouting are stop the truck and get out, walk into the field, get away from the end field, from the end rows, and walk into the field and then look at several positions with several locations, look for diseases, and what you want to be doing is you want to be looking for symptoms. It's a good idea to know what you're looking for. So based on the growth stage of the crop, what should I be looking for? It's tasseling, I should probably be looking for foliar diseases. The way that we tell the foliar diseases apart is by the shape of the spots, right? So a rectangular spot is going to be grey leaf spot. A cigar shaped um, spot will be northern corn leaf blight. Those are the symptoms that we see on the plant that help us distinguish that that's what the disease is. The development of northern corn leaf blight generally occurs within a 17 degree range in wet, humid conditions. The fungal source survives in the plant residue on the ground, typically from a previous corn crop and no-till practices, then moves up through the canopy. The lesions spread to other corn foliage, including husks, as the disease progresses. When leaves are covered with multiple lesions, they will look brittle and gray-green in color, similar to how a killing frost would appear. Northern corn leaf blight can rob yields if it occurs during corn tasseling and silking development. In dry weather, the disease rarely occurs or does not spread enough to cause significant economic damage. Delaro controls a broad range of corn diseases for stronger, healthier plants. Visit delaro.us to learn how Delaro fungicide can help you achieve your personal best yield.